Hello and welcome to the third Empires Apart development vlog. My name is Giampaolo Vernocchi, I'm the co-founder and creative director at Destiny Bit. This is the biggest development vlog to date. We were so busy and focused creating a build for Milan's Games Week that the amount of features grew exponentially in our hands and so this dev vlog is going to be longer than usual. The first thing that you might notice uh, from the last development vlog is the presence of the UI. Uh, this UI is not final, although we're very happy with the layout and the overall style, so um, we don't know how much it will change. Uh, the whole UI is done in uh, UMG, which has proven to be uh, an invaluable tool in terms of uh, speed of execution and uh, how powerful it is. The UI is still lacking a lot of features, especially on the minimap, but it shows the direction we're headed, especially in regards to redesigning the UI of the classic RTS and making it more accessible to new players while keeping it fast to use and very clear for expert players. We decided to throw away uh, the old staples of the genre and uh, UIs that take up a quarter of the screen and basically just start over. One of the staples of the design was unobtrusiveness and drawing stuff only if we absolutely need to. And as a result, the UI is very clean and uh, shows stuff only if it's needed. We decided to show all the stats Ready. for the currently selected unit right in the UI to be 100% transparent with the player as far as how strong a unit is or how fast a unit is. The second thing that you might notice is the presence of sound effects. Going to work. The whole build has sound effects. We considered these sound effects to be temporary, although they reflect the quality of the final sound effects that will be in the game. Villagers and units also have voiceovers for when they are selected or when they are issued orders. These voiceovers are in English and they are temporary because in the final game each civilization will have its own language. There are six buildings in the current build. We have the Aztec Town Center that serves as a resource drop-off as well as produces new villagers. We have a generic European house that provides plus five population capacity. We have the Frank's Storage Building which serves as a resource drop-off. We have the Chinese barracks, which is the only building so far that can produce uh, military units. We have the Frank's blacksmith that provides uh, generic upgrades to the military units. And we have the Frank's watchtower, which shoots at enemies nearby. The production queue is working. I can easily add and remove items from the queue and everything is displayed in a very clean fashion with a timer that tells you when the unit will be ready. Since the last devlog, we added three new units to the game. We have the Mongol Cavalry Archer, the Saracen Spearman, and the Byzantine's Cataphract. The map that we brought to Milan's Games Week was a custom-built 1v1 King of the Hill map. The reason why we went with King of the Hill was because we wanted a game mode that allowed for five to 10 minutes game so we could have as many people as possible play during the day. The map is not randomly generated. Everything was laid down by hand and uh, it's completely symmetrical to allow for perfect balance among the players. There's a lot of new stuff that can be spotted in this video that we didn't have the time to talk about. But we encourage you to tell us what you think about the game in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Giampaolo Vernocchi and I'll see you next time.